Welcome back to Science with Joey and... Brian. No, no, no. I'm Joey. You're Brian. Oh, thank you. I'm glad he always clears that up because I always get confused on that thing. All right. So uh, we're back. We're going to have some uh, experiments today with uh, acids and bases. And we have a few simple materials here. What do we Vinegar. have? Here? Vinegar. Baking soda. pH. pH indicator. pH indicator. Yep. Solution. And, and pH. pH. Strips. pH strips. pH strips. Awesome. And we have, this is a flask. flask. And what Make is our it? flask. Yes, so flask, beaker, flask. And I took some pH strips out already, okay? And just a spoon for safe measure. All right, so in this container, we already filled it with some water. delicious, nutritious... Tap water? Tap water, right. Homemade okay. tap water, actually. Homemade tap water, right. It's the best kind. That's what I said All right. in the last video. That's right, you did. All right, so we're uh -oh. going to put some vinegar in here. This might smell bad to you guys, but it's good for a flask. It's good for a flask. You got that right. Flasks love vinegar. All right, so and we got some vinegar. May smell bad to you, Zanny, but it's good. All right, Zanny is one of our neighborhood dogs. So. Yeah, if you're wondering, she's a cute dog. She is. All right, so we're gonna put some baking soda and into the the, the flask with the water. Okay. Oh boy. I'm just gonna cut my hand okay. here to keep it in there. And we'll put a little bit put more. Vinegar on that side. Well, I will. I will side. eventually. We're gonna. That we're bad. gonna pour them together. Yep. Oh boy. There we go. All right. Now Looks we're like gonna mix sand. them around. Looks like sand. Yeah, it does look like sand, doesn't it? Snow. Okay. Man, it's leaking again. No, well, it's okay. No. All right. Sand. Okay, so what I'm gonna That's have you do, Joey? I'm gonna have you take this pH strip and I'm gonna have you dip it in there. No. Just dip it in there. It's okay. Won't hurt you. You're dipping it. You didn't dip it in I all did. the way. Dip it in all the way. Ah, there you go. What color did that turn? Red. Red. Okay. So if you can see here, it matches up with this vial. It's about 2.0, almost close to 1.0. So that's an that's actually an acid. Acids are characterized by things that have a, an abundance of hydrogen. Okay. Yep, we're Turnips. gonna. Oh right. Yep, we won't. That does stink. I get you. So if that we have a, uh, if we have a base, a base has an abundance of hydroxide, which is oxygen and hydrogen together. So that's the difference between those two. So what we're gonna do is we're also gonna test. So we already tested the vinegar. So I want you to test the baking soda pH. Oops. All right. There, Yellow. Ooh, what, what color did it turn? Yellow. All right, what color is that right there, though? Orange. It's like green. 7.0. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, it's Six close. Oil. It's actually about an 8 on the scale of the pH scale, so it is actually a base. Okay? So, um, you can use pH strips, obviously, to test this if you want to, but you can also use what's called an indicator solution. Indicator. This baking soda does not want to stand up, apparently, today. So, Joey, would you do me a favor? Oh, Will you put a few drops into here? I want to do it in the vinegar. You want to do the vinegar first? Ooh, that means, okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. Go. okay. This one up. Okay, that's good. Oh, that's a nice color that it turned. Pretty sweet, huh? It looks like a dementor, Mom. Coming right out here. Ah! It does look like a dementor. There we go. What color is that, Joe? Uh, I don't know. That's... Does it look green to you? No, dark green. Dark green. There you go. Okay, so. Which is, um, which is, um, we'll see. 1.0. Actually, it's right there. 9.0. 9 9.0. And I'm going to have, we're going to show you the pH scale up there in a little bit, too. All right, or it's probably already up there. I got to do some post studying eventually. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to pour the two yeah, together. So, well, the baking soda is already in here, and we have vinegar in here. Oh. Now, Joey, do you think this is going to stay the same color or change colors? Change colors. Change colors. Let's I see. Wanna... Do you want to pour one, mm -hmm. and I'll pour the other one? Okay, ready. Yeah. Go ahead, ready. Careful. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Oh, hey, hoo ha! That's really good. Okay, awesome. That's a good, nice. Uh, Put a little bit more. Put a little bit more. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess we can put just a tad more. Oh, 
There we go. Well, All right. Pour okay. some vinegar on it. So do you see a color change here, buddy? Mm-hmm. Isn't that pretty cool? Okay, that's good. That's we should good. do the vinegar Okay, next. so if you look at it, it changed actually. It's called a neutralization reaction because when you put an acid, oh. an acid and a base together, it actually <coughs> neutralizes and it gets closer that just got to the middle. I know it's kind of stinky. Yeah. Ooh, that Ooh. does stink. That's some extra carbon dioxide it's given off. And this actually turned to about a 6.0. So it actually turned a little bit more acidic, like that. Uh, but almost close to a seven. So it, it got pretty close to neutral. Do you want to put a little bit more in there, buddy? Okay, that's good. 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 Okay, so, now that you're putting more baking soda in here, it's actually changing the color even more. more to a 7.0. Which is pretty awesome. Now it's almost completely neutral right there. It's actually now going to an 8.0. It's going back to basic. So let's see if we can change it back one more time. Oh, there we go. Pretty sweet. Now we've got it just about to neutral. Pretty cool stuff. All right. Well, thank you for joining us on another edition of Science with Joey and... Brian. No, I'm Brian. You're Joey. I'm Joey. You're Brian. Right on. Have a great day. Bye-bye.